Hey guys, today we're optimizing Hogwarts Legacy on the Steam Deck. We'll also explore how the different scaling methods compare, but we won't stop there. We're also going to test the impact of setting the GPU frequency manually. And after all this, we'll be having a look at all the data to reach the perfect settings. So let's dive right in. Here are the settings guys, 800p TAA high, and I chose to use NVIDIA NIS here. We'll see how the different upscaling methods compare in a second. Feel free to change the depth of field and motion blur settings as you wish. Here are the graphic settings I'll be using for today. You can pause the video if you need to and apply these settings. These are my personal preferences. You might want to increase the view distance to medium if you find low to be too distracting. Okay, let's move on to the upscaling methods. On screen, you can see what native rendering looks like. I've slowed down the video a bit so that we can see what happens when there's movement on screen. I want you to focus on how the trees and houses look. Okay guys, now this is what the image looks like when we use NVIDIA NIS, which is similar to FSR but by NVIDIA. Right now I'm using the ultra quality preset and on the Steam Deck screen, this looks a bit better than native resolution. And this is FSR. In most games, FSR is the best option. But in Hogwarts Legacy, I find it really distracting how the movement looks. The image looks blocky and over sharpened. When we aren't moving the camera around, FSR 2 provides the best image quality. Okay, let's move on and have a look at all three side by side. The upscaling method that looks more like native resolution to me is NVIDIA NIS. FSR just looks too over sharpened. And that's why I chose NVIDIA NIS. And here we have the game running with the optimized settings. In indoors and outdoor scenarios, we get impressive results. We can see that we get well above 40 FPS. Then when broom flying around the map, things get more complicated. Especially when flying close to the ground, we're seeing the FPS in the 30 to 40 FPS range with some occasional drops to the high 20s. And once we get to Hogsmeade, we can see that the FPS are barely above 30 FPS. So it seems clear that we're going to be targeting 30 FPS with these settings. And here are the test run results. Indoors we averaged an impressive 49 FPS, outdoor flying we see the FPS dip to 30, in Hogsmeade our FPS are also hitting 30, the battery life we get with these settings is an hour and a half, and the Steam Deck will be running at 88 degrees Celsius. Now let's try to improve battery life and try to increase the FPS on the low end. For that I'll be testing the impact that setting a specific frequency on the GPU has on performance. So I went and ran the exact same test, but I locked the frequency the GPU operates at. I started by testing 1600 MHz and then decreased in 100 MHz steps all the way to 1200 MHz. I'm surprised that setting the frequency to auto isn't the best option. In indoor scenarios, we can see that setting the frequency to 1300 MHz provides the best results. Okay, and when we fly without boosting at, at a certain height, we can see a similar trend as before. Setting the frequency to 1300 MHz is leagues ahead of any other configuration and will be hitting over 30 FPS consistently. And here we can see that the Steam Deck struggles at fast flying near ground level regardless of the configuration. But setting the frequency to 1300 MHz provides the best FPS. And we can see that it consistently stays above 30 FPS. At Hogsmeade we can see that setting the frequency to 1300 MHz isn't the best configuration for the first time in my tests. 1400 MHz gets a, a higher average FPS, but is very inconsistent. It provides the best and worst results, so I'll be sticking to 1300 MHz. So now that we have all the data, I'm going to be using my optimized settings and setting the GPU clock frequency to 1300 MHz. I'll also be limiting my refresh rate to 30 FPS, since I'm looking for the most stable FPS possible instead of the highest possible FPS. So guys, I'm going to leave you all with some gameplay with these settings. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. See you guys next time.